the SBD Dauntless dive bombing under an 8G load designed for precision dive bombing. The SBD Dauntless features robust fuselage reinforcement and integrated dive brakes to stabilize terminal dive angles. The airframe's high strength aluminum alloy structure with a wing loading around 20 pounds per square foot enable controlled 60 to 75 degree dive trajectories. A hydraulically actuated bomb release mechanism synchronized with the dive brakes ensured accurate bomb placement. Combat evaluations confirmed its structural resilience during high G maneuvers, crucial for carrier operations and effective bomb detonation within 100 to 150 meters from the target. The Dauntless's wing was a marvel of dive bomber engineering. Its tapered plan form provided an optimal lift-to-drag ratio, essential for steep dive accuracy. The primary spar, a dual-lugged duralumin beam approximately 3.2 millimeters thick, formed the backbone of the wing, while bonded aluminum skin panels affixed by high-strength rivets balanced weight with rigidity. Under rigorous 8G dive conditions, engineers integrated diagonal bracing and additional internal ribbing, particularly at the wing root junction. These reinforcements distributed stress away from critical nodes, ensuring minimal flex and preventing catastrophic failure during extreme maneuvers. Rigorous structural testing identified localized stress concentrations at rivet intersections and spar joints. Strategic placement of redundancy through overlapping load paths effectively mitigated these vulnerabilities, confirming that the Dauntless's design could endure sustained high G impacts with reliable structural integrity. In dive mode, fixed dive brakes balance lift and drag ensuring stability at speeds exceeding 250 miles per hour while mitigating shock loads. High precision control surfaces were pivotal. Elevators with pronounced trailing edge deflection quickly countered nose-heavy dive acceleration and responsive ailerons maintained roll stability. An enlarged rudder provided decisive yaw control, vital for directional corrections during aggressive dive trajectories. However, these aerodynamic refinements imposed severe structural demands. During 8G load factors, the airframe's aluminum alloy reinforcements were pushed to their limits. Combat flight data underscored the necessity for precise pilot inputs to counteract drag penalties and control surface saturation. Inside the SBD Dauntless, the right R-1820 Cyclone engine exemplifies engineering finesse under combat duress. The R-1820, a nine-cylinder, air-cooled radial, turns out 1,200 horsepower at 2,700 revolutions per minute. It's two-speed supercharger ensuring optimal performance across varied altitudes. Precision machined internals, including a balanced crankshaft and low-friction bearings, curtailed vibrational stresses during steep dive profiles. Operating at an average of 0.50 pounds per horsepower per hour, its fuel efficiency was crucial for extended carrier operations. Reliability metrics were exceptional. Rigorous field tests demonstrated misfire rates below 1%, even under rapid throttle transients. The engine's cooling system, featuring meticulously designed cylinder baffles and an aerodynamic cowling, maintained steady thermal conditions amid extreme high dive angles. This cooling efficiency minimized power degradation during rapid pitch changes effectively mitigating detonation risks. Bomb deployment in the SBD Dauntless is a masterclass in precision engineering. At a 70-degree dive, the pilot actuates a cockpit lever that mechanically triggers a synchronized hydraulic release of the externally mounted bomb. This action deploys stabilizing drogue fins on the 1,000-pound ordnance, ensuring a controlled descent and achieving impact dispersion within a 50-foot radius at optimal range. Structurally, the external bomb mounting was reinforced with duralumin frames and robust attachment rails to distribute distribute dynamic loads during pull-up maneuvers. Rigorous field assessments confirmed that these reinforcements maintained airframe integrity even under sustained high-G maneuvers. In a comparative context, the Dauntless's 70-degree dive offers a superior ballistic profile against the Joe 87 Stuka's 75-degree dive. The shallower angle affords higher horizontal velocities, yielding a more predictable trajectory and enhanced bombing accuracy. This refined bomb deployment system, validated by declassified combat evaluations and technical manuals, underscores the Dauntless's exceptional blend of precision ordnance delivery and reliable airframe design. The SBD Dauntless featured a mechanically stabilized bombsite with gyroscopic integration, enabling dive angles near 70 degrees and precision release within a 25-yard radius. Its optical system, calibrated to account for dive acceleration and altitude, integrated a reflex site with a fixed reticle, ensuring bombs were dropped at calculated altitudes for terminal accuracy. These instruments, mounted on shock-absorbing bases, were critical for pilots to maintain situational awareness during extreme maneuvers, with mechanical gauges delivering instantaneous readings for airspeed, altitude, and vertical velocity. The Dauntless's limited suite, centered around a ruggedized gyroscopic autopilot, exhibited over 98% operational reliability under high vibration, high dynamic combat loads. Designed for minimal electrical dependency, these systems ensured steadfast navigation and bomb timing integrity, even under sustained dive stress. As mentioned before, the SBD Dauntless's airframe was rigorously engineered to withstand the extreme 
eight G loads experienced during dive bombing. During certification, high tensile duralumin alloys were rigorously stress tested through static and dynamic physical trials, replicating the rapid deceleration of dive pulls. Thorough visual inspections and physical endurance tests verified that critical components maintain structural integrity under repeated 8G conditions. Materials testing revealed that the airframe's design deliberately incorporated over-engineered joints to mitigate microcrack initiation. Detailed fatigue life analyses identified the wing root junctions as high-risk zones, where cyclic stresses accelerated fatigue. In response, maintenance protocols were updated to mandate periodic magnetic particle inspections and high-resolution visual examinations, ensuring early detection of potential fatigue cracks. These rigorous measures not only certified the Dauntless for sustained high-G operations, but also extended its combat service life, reinforcing its reputation for reliability in the intense dive bombing role. Passive defensive design in the SBD Dauntless is built into its all-metal, non-folding airframe. The design provided limited crew protection through a reinforced windshield and structural bulkheads, and self-sealing fuel tanks integrated into the wing structure, though the cockpit itself was not fully armored. These features minimized the risk of catastrophic fuel loss and direct crew injury from shrapnel or small arms fire. Internal bulkheads and strategically placed armor plating enhanced damage tolerance, enabling the Dauntless to absorb multiple hits while maintaining structural integrity. Under dive stress, the Dauntless's design was exceptional. Its robust wing box structure, derived from DC-2 engineering, distributed high-impact loads from pullouts that could approach 9G. The perforated split dive brake stabilized descent, maintaining a controlled dive speed near 240 knots. This careful balance of aerodynamic drag and reinforced structure reduced transient shock loads, allowing sustained high-G maneuvers without compromising the airframe's limits. Crew safety was prioritized through a two-man defensive layout. The pilot and radio operator Shaish Gunner benefited from armored seating, protective bulkheads, and redundant control systems. Field reports confirmed that even after severe battle damage, crews could often eject from or recover their damaged aircraft, showing the Dauntless's real-world combat endurance. The Dauntless's environmental adaptations are a masterclass in maritime engineering. Its anodized aluminum airframe and saltwater-resistant coatings protected critical surfaces, engine cowlings, hydraulic systems, and fuel tanks from corrosive marine spray during prolonged carrier operations. Self-sealing sealed fuel tanks further minimized salt ingress, preserving structural integrity in humid tropical environments. Modularity was built into its design for diverse mission roles. For dive bombing, the Dauntless featured reinforced perforated dive brakes that controlled aerodynamic forces at steep 70 to 80 degree dives, while a specialized bomb fork ensured bombs cleared the propeller arc. In reconnaissance configurations, bomb racks were replaced with additional fuel tanks and sensor mounts, maintaining balanced aerodynamics and extended range. Its defense included the rear armament, positioning 1.30 caliber machine guns for a 360 degree field of fire to counter enemy fighters during vulnerable phases of operation. These integrated solutions enabled the Dauntless to reliably perform under extreme conditions, proving its engineering resilience in harsh maritime settings and on diverse high-intensity combat missions. Each SBD Dauntless unit cost roughly $45,000 in wartime dollars, a figure achieved through streamlined mass production of nearly 6,000 airframes between 1940 and 1944. Production methods emphasize modular sub-assemblies and standardized components, reducing lead times even amid raw material shortages. Maintenance economics benefited from a design that allowed rapid engine overhauls and wing repairs, crucial for carrier-based operations where turnaround times were critical. The supply chain was tightly integrated with domestic steel mills and precision machine shops, ensuring quality control and rapid delivery of essential parts. Pre-positioned spares and a cyclical maintenance schedule minimized downtime, allowing dive bomber squadrons to sustain intensive operational tempos. Life cycle cost analysis reveals that while the initial low unit cost was economical, recurring expenses such as periodic overhauls, spare part replenishments, and specialized crew training imposed long-term budget trade-offs. These calculated compromises between upfront affordability and sustained combat readiness contributed directly to the SBD's success.